made it here. You have made it to Saved Avenue. All right, y'all. As y'all can tell by the title, we're about to get into why I denounced, aka, and um, how God delivered me from idolatry. Um, he's had delivered me from idolatry in other areas as well, but this was one that he touched up on me with. Okay, so first I'm going to just go into my testimony about um, how I knew that God wanted me out of this organization. But first, let me just make this disclaimer. It is nothing against the organizations. It is nothing against the chapters. It is just the spiritual background of why it does not align with God in many ways and um i really can touch up on each and every area that people might try to say why it may be from god because i had the same i had the same um responses when people try to tell me to denounce so first of all um it started with a dream god gave me a vision in my sleep and basically in my vision um it was me and my stepmom and as you all may know or may not know my stepmom is also an ak and um in the dream he showed me where i did not get to be a part of something because i was an aka or because I was a part of this organization. Also, in the physical now, which like right now, um, not right now, but like at the time in the physical, I had broke out on my arm. And so in the dream, um, went to the doctor because I had, was broke out in the dream as well. And in the dream, the doctor was like, oh, you have poison ivy. <laughs> ha ha ha, God has humor as well. And so I'm like, okay, um, I'm mad in my dream, you know, I'm mad in my dream, I'm still not understanding. So I had the dream like way before I even denounced. So moving ahead, um, when I first crossed, it was someone that reached out to me and they tried to like get me to like watch videos and stuff. Cause they were also, they were also um, in a Greek organization. And they was asking me, how do I feel about it? And I'm like, well, I don't know. God feel like God got me this far. So I feel like if he got me this far, he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't allow me to, he wouldn't allow me to get this far if it wasn't for me. Now, mind you, the enemy is a master of deceiving. He's a master of making things look like they're supposed, like making things look good when they're really not. So, um, Moving ahead, I'm telling the girl, I'm like, I even blocked the girl, y'all. I blocked the girl because I'm like, this a fake page. Somebody texting me. They hating on me. That's what I'm getting. That's what it's giving. That's what I was getting. So I blocked them and I'm like, nah. So moving along, a couple of people that were also um in were who were my sisters at the time, they even brought it upon me saying, um, well, how do you feel about it and whatever, whatever. I guess they were coming to me looking for answers, but I couldn't give them the answer because I was not being obedient. I was like, I'm still going to do it. I'm going to be an AKA. I'm going to do that, whatever, whatever. And so moving along, I ended up, um, you know, still, still was doing me, you know. And then at a point, it was like I would try to study for these things and um like study for the stuff that we had to learn and stuff like that and it just was like something in me just was not pulling on it it's like i'm not even studying my bible like this i'm not even studying my schoolwork like this it's like i'm trying to go so hard to study this stuff and i don't and i haven't even like you know and so um a couple months later during the summer it had came back on me, but I still was pushing it away. Like, I was always pushing it away. It was nothing that nobody could tell me. I was not I was not denouncing. That's what was in my mind. I just, I'm going to go back a little bit. When we had actually was in the process of getting, getting ready to become AKA, um, I also was building my relationship with God like heavy. I was on my walk with God heavy. So, I mean, a lot of people can say like, 
oh, well, you have brought God in it. I understand that, and that's fine. I understand that, but it's it's a lot of people, like y'all say, y'all pastors and stuff be Greek. That's fine, but guess what? That does not accommodate any sin. That does not accommodate if anything is right because of a pastor or because of someone else who is a Christian is a part of these things. That does not mean anything. So, yeah, so during these rituals and stuff, it was like, it was stuff not sitting right with me that I didn't really speak on because I'm like, look, I want to be an AKA. Like, this going to help me get indoors that I need to get in. Like, I'm going to have the connections, all the same stuff that y'all are probably seeing. Like, y'all. And, um, so yeah, I'm like, um, we were doing like little rituals, little things such, um, in these dark rooms and bowing our heads to, words that people were speaking over us didn't even know what the people were saying also um moving back ahead like in the summertime i was in the bed one night and god had woke me up out of my sleep to a message that my friend sent me she had went out for the for something as well and she didn't get it and God told her why she didn't get it when she didn't get it now mind you I didn't get it my first time either and I should have took that as let it let it go because man's no is God's God's approval remember that man's no is God approval that do not mean go re-knock on that door that don't mean that y'all okay okay so yeah I um I went and um oh yeah so I woke up to the message she sent me she was like Avery God would not let me go to sleep until I tell you this. You know, me and her had this discussion before and I kind of like pushed her off. I'm like, well, I feel like God got me as the light in this organization. You know, I'm making up so many excuses. And again, I never went and watched the videos, never did none of that. I had to wait for God to reveal it to me because I told him, I'm like, God, you got to let me know yourself. So, um... Yeah, I saw her message. I read like the first couple sentences and I'm like, nah, I'm not reading this. I'm putting it down. I put the phone, I didn't even, I just texted her and I said, thank you. Didn't read the message, just said thank you. and was like, okay, <sighs> couldn't go to sleep. But I ended up going to sleep, woke back up, same stuff on my mind. So I read the message and everything she's saying, I'm like, okay. I'm like, God, if this is what you want me to do, you're going to have to show me. Like, you're going to have to give me a big sign. Like, I ain't falling for the okie doke. Like, you feel me? You got to show me. <sighs> he showed, showed me. I was watching a sermon. And the man was talking. And the sermon was not even about. The sermon was not about none of this stuff that I'm, none of that. And he just came out of nowhere and he was like, I don't got to be a part of y'all organizations. I don't have to do these things, this thing. I don't, he was like, I don't have to ski we. I don't have to wear no pink. He was saying, basically he was letting it be known. I don't have to be a part of y'all stuff to be who I am. And that's when it hit me. That's when it dawned on me. That's when the dream caught up to me and I had revelation. And God was telling me that, we hold ourselves under these organizations, expecting them to get us in the doors that we need to get into. We hold ourselves under these organizations, expecting um, the connections to come. Yes, the connections may come, but are you not trusting God enough to get you in the doors that you need to go in without something being, without a title? Um, are you not expecting God to bring on the people that need to be in your life to get you where you need to go? It's like we're not trusting God anymore. It's like we're trusting these um these platforms, these things, and this goes further beyond organizations. This also goes into how people idolize crystals, thinking that these crystals will heal them. This also goes into how we we can even idolize our parents because we feel like, oh, if I don't have my mom, I'm not going to be able to get here. If I don't have my dad, I'm not going to be able to get here. I'm going to be real with y'all. God would take something away from you so quick, so quick, just to show you you do not need that to get to where I'm putting you, to get to where I need you to go. And that's what he was trying to tell me. He was trying to tell me, like, look, you don't need this behind your name to get where you need to go. More than just that, like I said, it's deeper than just the idolatry of this. It goes into the rituals. It goes into manipulation of scriptures because... We were pledging to these names. We were taking out God's name and we were putting it in the name of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And um, I can say it right here. It's right here. It said to the O Alpha Kappa Alpha. We pledge our hearts, our minds, our strengths 
to foster their teachings, obey their laws. In the Bible, it says we're supposed to pledge our hearts, our minds, and, and our strength to God. That's the only person that we're supposed to give this all to. We're supposed to give our all to God. If you ain't Christian, if you don't put yourself in the placement of Christian, go on. Go on. Do your thing. But as a Christian, Greek organizations should not be in your life. I'm just going to put that out there. And this coming from somebody who wants to be an AKA all her life. This coming from somebody who has parents who are Greek. This coming from somebody who understood the assignment. Okay? So in the Bible, it says in Exodus 23, you shall have no other gods before me. People feel like when that when he says that they're, they're talking about physical gods, no, bro. He's talking about anything that you put in the place of him. Just because God is in it does not mean that it's always right. I just want to say, like, God is not going to bless you with something that goes against what he believes. Remember that. Like, I can honestly say I really thought God was in this. I was getting signs. Everything I see, it was like, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Or I was seeing ivies and pink and green and stuff. But like I've already said, the enemy is deceiving. He will try to make you feel like something is for you and it's not. And God will snatch you right up out of it. Because guess what? God is in control. If he didn't want me out of it, I would still be in it. But because I had that own revelation myself, because I know what God tells me myself, and then I go and look into the Bible to make sure that I'm not tripping or making sure that this does align with God's words. Oh, no, this is not just because somebody told me you need to denounce because you're a Christian. No, baby. This is because I went and studied my word. This is because I went and got in my word. And it's because I'm not lukewarm. It's because I'm reading what God has told me. It's because I'm getting revelation of dreams that he has sent me. This was something so hard for me. I can honestly say it took me time. It took me strength i could not do it off of my own strength i needed god's strength i had to pray god give me strength how do i supposed to tell my parents who are a part of these organizations how do i supposed to leave my sisters because i honestly built relationships with my sisters how do i supposed to do this how god why why me and it's like why ask him why just be obedient just do it he going to reveal to you why in the end. That's not the matter. It's about being obedient to God's word. And something he also taught me during this time was delay, um, delayed obedience and still disobedience. Because it took me a minute to actually like denounce. It took me a minute to actually like say, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, look, Avery, it's more to this surface stuff. It's more. At the end of the day, when it's time for me to go to heaven, God not going to ask me. Did you and your sisters do right? Or did you and your parents do right? Or job well done, Avery and her dad. Job well done, Avery and her sister. No, it's not going to go like that. It's going to be Avery by myself. And it's, you should take that too with you. It's going to be you by yourself. Your organization is not going to go with you. And that's even if, that's even if you get there. Because you got to be obedient. You got to repent from things, especially if you know. If you know it's not a God, you got to repent from these things. You got to turn from these things. And like I said, I'm not here to, I'm not judging nobody. You feel me? I still got friends. Like I said, my own parents, they're Greek. I still love them. That's not going to change my love for them. But as a child of God, as a child of God, it is for me to share my testimony. It is for me to share what God has placed on me because God says his people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. So don't say you didn't get the knowledge because it's right here. It's right here. And you can go look up all the other stuff if you, if you if, like a after God revealed and gave me a revelation of why these things were not of him. Yes, that's when I went to go watch other people's videos. Yes, that's when I went to see what other people have said. It didn't take somebody to tell me anything. He had already told me from the jump. He been told me from the jump. And that's how I got delivered from idolatry. It was hard. And it was more than just idolatry, like I said, because a lot of people stop at, well, I'm not idolizing this. Oh, but you pledged to this. You pledged your heart, your soul, your mind to this. But the only thing that we're supposed to pledge our hearts to is God. Thing at the time, at a point, I was always like, um, thinking like, Oh, 
what am I going to do? Um, people going to be mad at me. People going to, baby, again, I'm not here to seek validation in you. I'm on assignment. I'm a child of God. I'm doing what God wants me to do. I'm doing what God telling me to do. Do you know how many people turn their backs on me after this? Do you know how many people may turn their backs on me after I release this video? I don't care. I put this shoulder up. I put this shoulder up because I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm on assignment. It is what it is. Because at the end of the day, I know God going to get me where he need me to be. I know that God going to tell me every job well done. I know that God has the last say-so and the final say-so. I know that he's the true alpha and omega. Come on. So, I mean... But um, I just want to say thank y'all for coming and watching my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep... Look, if it weren't for you, keep moving. If it weren't for you, keep moving. Keep moving. If it wasn't for you, you feel like God has not convicted you yet, keep moving. But don't say that you did not get the knowledge. Don't say that you didn't get... Don't say you ain't never heard it. Because his people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. Thank you.